Good morning, everyone. My name is Felicia Kusuma from 12C, and my groupmates for this project are Maureen, Justin, Nicholas, and Stella. Today, I would like to present to you our group's eco-friendly refrigerator. First, I will start with the research background. As we all know, a refrigerator is a household appliance used to cool, freeze, or preserve food and drinks. However, some of the cooling materials used, such as freon gas and CFC, can be harmful to the environment. So for this research, we will use filter device as it is eco-friendly. So next, our research purpose. First, to find out how a refrigerator works. Second, to find out how a filter device works. And third, to create a simple refrigerator with eco-friendly cooling materials. Next, I will explain about the theoretical basis. So the principle of refrigeration is based on the second law of thermodynamics. There are two consequences of it. First, there is a theoretical limit to the efficiency of heat engine. Second, heat will never spontaneously move from cold places to warm places, as work is required to pump heat from cold places to warm places. Next, the Pelter effect. Pelter effect creates a temperature difference by allowing one side of the junction to absorb heat and the other side to radiate heat. When a Pelter device is connected to a power supply, one side of the device becomes very cold and one side of them becomes very hot. The hot and cold sides can change depending on the current direction. Next about our product itself. So our product is a mini fridge that uses filter device, which means it is not harmful to the environment. And as we can see here, the left side is the picture of the fridge from the front side and the right one shows the back side of the fridge alongside water basin. So water is needed for this research so that it can be turned into gas to cool the fridge. Next is the result of our experiment. At first, we use normal water so it's not cold or hot. Here is the data that we collected for an hour using normal water. About half an hour, the temperature inside the fridge had only dropped by approximately 5 degrees Celsius from 30.9 to 25.6. However, in the next 30 minutes, the temperature rose to 26.3 degrees Celsius as the water became warmer. Therefore, we assume that the temperature of the water affects the temperature of the fridge. To prove this, we decided to put ice in the water basin. Here is the result. As expected, the temperature decreased further to 21.8 degrees Celsius in 30 minutes. And when the ice completely melted, the water became warmer, and so the temperature of the fridge started to rise slowly until it reached the room temperature. So lastly, the reflection. From this final project, we can learn how to apply our knowledge of physics and math to solve real life problems. Our product, the mini fridge, is one of the examples. So that's all from me. Thank you for listening.